guys, how's it going? Mac HD here, and welcome to Road to Liverpool. And we are on to episode 12 now. And uh, this is just going to be a quick one because uh, I've got lots of stuff going on today. I'm going to the cinema and I need to get the video out so I won't be as much trading. But I did some trading last night. I had 14,000 coins because that will be sold on for 4,500 game now. Uh, so we then had 14,000 coins and I was able to go out and I'm going to be showing you the technique that I used today to make a pretty brilliant profit on one player so as you can see we've got 16,000 coins now 2,000 coins profit it's still very good I'll tell you what I did I picked up Luka Modric here is a center attacking mid uh, or center mid so he usually is a center attacking mid so that's brilliant because out of pro 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 position formation works a lot picked him up for 9,400 listened him up for 11,750 sold instantaneously brilliant bit of profit here as you can see, last night before I went to bed, I, I was trying a bit of trading with the little amount of coins that I left while I was waiting for him to sell. As you can see, Sammy Kadira, uh, I was using Kadira and, oh, well, I just took him out. Basically, Ozil was going for an insane price. So I'm going to show you how you do this. First of all, you want to select your position as centre mid. And then you just want to find a player that you think you want to use, who is usually a centre attacking mid. So you just have to think about it. Um... So I'm just going to use a simple one here that I think is the easiest one is go to the Bundesliga and then you go to a popular team. Uh, so I'm going to go for Bayern Munich and then you just search and you find what the what the highest buy it now is. So as you can see for some of them it's 9,100 but I think you can get them under that. So we're just going to go have a look here and see what is the maximum price if we can get them for. You know what's the minimum buy now so that's your base from how you can move off from it's around 6,000 last night so let's see oh it's gone up quite a considerable amount somebody was having a good time so you can see here it is around seven, six yeah for Tony Cruz anyway it's uh, 6,900 so then we're gonna go and see how much we can pick them up for and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to put your minimum bid to usually about 150 because you know you never know you can pick up some insane deals like that on low bills bids sorry and your maximum I'm going to set mine to around 4,000 coins because that means we're still going to get a pretty good profit if we can find any around uh, at this price. So you can see a Tony Cruz there, if we can pick him up that would be absolutely brilliant. Uh, Tony Cruz again, 1,700, I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, let's see here, uh, 12 hours is a bit long time, how long is that, 9 hours, Ooh, shouldn't have been better on them. As you can see there, a Thomas Muller, 300 coins, it's got another 24 hours practically to go but you could pick him up for an insanely cheap price there if you just kept an item add him to the watch list French tag as well these are all on pretty long bids but uh, yeah th that's one uh, technique you can use another one you can use is a uh, stick of Germany but we'll change the league we'll go to the Liga BBVA and we'll go to Real Madrid let's just clear out these things we'll see what the cheapest for Ozil is as a central mid uh, it's brilliant training method because you can find players out of formation and you know it's just great and uh, yeah if you can pick them up cheap and sell them on like I did with Madovic you'll be pretty flipping insanely good so as you can see what happened to Germany? stupid thing uh, where is this? there we go Deutschland so Sammy Kadira is going to be a problem he will be popping up quite a considerable amount here um, I'm just gonna have to look for fish eyes himself <laughs> So maybe if you set your buy now minimum at something like 5,000, I know that there might be a few coming up inside it, but uh, yeah, it looks like that's what we're going to have to do because there are, of course, two German players, unfortunately, in this uh, team, which is kind of, you know, unusual. Sometimes you might get it, but with a club like Bayern Munich as well, because it's a German-based club, you're going to have a lot more of those players. So we're going to throw this up to around 10,000. We'll see uh, if we can find any. So this is what I recommend doing no matter how many coins you have is just uh, looking for players like this out of formation and uh, getting them pretty cheap. So yeah, we throw this guy up to about 7,000 I would say and show him up to around, I'm going to say around 15,000. Okay, so uh, <laughs> obviously there aren't any, with a, I'll just see if we can get anything here. So yeah, this is kind of strange, I can't get Mr. Ozil, 
Uh, let me just see if what happens if I reset these because it's very strange. I would have expected him to be in there, but um, he might be going for massive levels. So I wanted them went for 19,000. Now, obviously, I couldn't bid on that because I only had 10,000 at the moment at that time, so it was pretty insane. As we can see, though, 19,500 is his cheapest, I do believe, um, on a buy now, anyway. 27,000, my god, uh, those prices are insane. So, let's see. What the cheapest is, if we can get below 19,000, that would be quite interesting. Um, yeah, I was not expecting that price increase to go up so quickly. Wow, wow, that just shows you how one night a player's price can rocket sky high, and uh, yeah, that does suck. Kind of, I'm gonna throw this one up to about 10,000 because all this kind of deal should be gone in theory. Because, yeah, uh, it is a bit annoying when you're looking for one player but you can't seem to find him so. Put the minimum to yeah 10,000, and we'll see if there are any for 19,000. Yeah, 18,750. Yeah, 7,250 does seem to be the kind of minimum, so we'll just see if there's anything at 17,000. This is how you find out. Um, yeah, so 16,000 for Kidera, that is way overpriced. So yeah, 17,000 is the cheapest Ozil on the market. So now what you're going to want to do, I know it took a little bit of time guys, but this is what you do. So you know, right, I need to be making a profit, so don't bid up to 17,000. Maybe say to yourself, I'm only going to bid to 16,000 or so. So then we're going to do this, and we're probably going to have to set a minimum price of 150, and then we're just going to have to look uh, for Mr. Ozil. It, it could take a little bit of time, but that's what you do basically is you just find the cheapest on the market and then go and search for him on a bid. So, as I was saying, I'm only going to go up as far as 16,000, giving me room for 1,000 or so just after tax, maybe 16,000. 15,750 will actually do me pretty good. So, as we can see here, lots of Kadiris, but look, there's an Ozil there for 3,000 with 11 minutes on it. I'm just going to stick a bit of 3,500 on that. Uh, bumping up the price a little bit so that will scare our competitor. I probably am going to win him just for the record because uh, he, he, when he's gone for 17,000 uh, you'd have to be watching him like a hawk. And you do have to go back a bit to find some of them but straight away one for 14,000 a bit thrown on him and like they, I expect to win mine back there it's a bit unlikely but uh, it's well to go. So guys this is the trading method Um, sorry that it isn't a great episode today uh, I wish I got it on more but it's just things that are happening and uh, I'm enjoying myself as well so we'll just see the watch list as you can see crews we've been outbid on I'm just gonna remove from the watch list at the moment uh, if I can pick up these guys would be good probably not gonna pick up Mr. Ozil unfortunately but I should do some training maybe late tonight and tomorrow so we might have a nice episode tomorrow hope you enjoyed if you did please subscribe like if you enjoyed the video and comment down below thank you guys for watching